How's it going, you guys? So, um, I am sick. Just, just full disclosure, I am sick right now. So if I um, do anything that uh, gives that away or makes it too obvious I'm sick, you know, I apologize. But let's get on with the video. So today, I'm going to be drinking um, Death Wish coffee. Um, right here, Death Wish coffee. Um, warning, world's strongest coffee. I've had this sitting around for um, a year. Um, my sister got it for me um, last year for my birthday, um, and I've had it one time. And there's a reason I've only had it once. <laughs> it says on the side, it says Death Wish Ground Coffee, Dark Roast, 16 ounce, new, and then best of use by uh, February uh, 2017. If you can see that. Oh, just God damn it. There you go. You see that? Yeah. So it's expired ish um, it's probably stale anyway let's uh, let's get into this so it says warning world strongest coffee right here um, it's in a cute little box so it's upside down um, here's the coffee itself I'm gonna set that here. It also has a, um, a sticker with it it's uh, Death Wish Coffee Company so um, this is the world's strongest coffee uh, not flavor wise, this is just has the most caffeine. I want to say it's like three or four times the amount of caffeine in a normal cup. So basically, this has a shit ton of caffeine, and um, we're gonna drink it. Has a little sticker type thing. Anyway, yeah, this is a pound. This is what the, the bag looks like. The brewing ratio is used two and a half tablespoons per six ounces, adjust accordingly. On the other side is Death Wish Coffee, World's Strongest, uh, New York. And then the back has this little thing. Um, it says, <clears throat> warning, world's strongest coffee. Uh, Death Wish coffee is created by using the strongest combination of beans and a perfect roasting process. Each batch is freshly ground to the perfect consistency and sent straight to the door. Some may say making coffee this strong is irresponsible. We like to think of it as revolutionary. That's pretty fucking cool and has the uh, the skull and the barcode on the skull, that's pretty sweet actually. I'm gonna smell it. Um, it's been sitting around for a year. Uh, so I hope it's not... Um... That was good. All right, so <clears throat> I have it uh, brewed right here in this cup. Um, and honestly, it smells like normal coffee, you know? Like if you eat one of those big uh, Folgers and then you just kind of brew the regular, that's what it smells like. Um, I haven't put anything in it, it's still black. Um, I'm not a huge fan of black coffee. Um, but uh, let's, let's take a sip. Tastes like dirt. That's really hot. You know why coffee tastes like dirt? Because it's fresh ground. <laughs> drinking black coffee is like drinking beer. No matter who you are, um, it sucks at first. Um, it's an acquired taste. 
Um, drinking black coffee is not really my thing. So the way I'm going to do this video is I'm sipping on this now while it's black, but I'm going to um, put creamer in it. Um, I have some creamer right here. I'm going to put a tiny dash of creamer in it just so I can uh, drink the whole thing. Um, I'm going to drink all of this Death Wish coffee. This, the whole, it's like two cups. Um, I kind of measured it. It was, it was about two cups. So I'm going to drink um, two cups of Death Wish coffee um, with a little bit of creamer so I can so I can get it down. Um, and then I will check in with you guys in about um, an hour, hour and a half, and uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. So let's do that. All right, so I've been sipping on this for about uh, 10 minutes, and um, I've gotten uh, nowhere. <laughs> it's pretty much, it looks like the same. But um, I just wanted to um, check it because um, I'm drinking this on an empty stomach. Caffeine is hitting me a lot quicker than I wanted it to. But I'm no stranger to caffeine. Like, I drink I drink coffee quite a bit, you know? Anyone, anyone who knows me knows that I drink coffee quite a bit. I feel really, I don't want to say energetic, because I don't feel energetic. I feel really, um, really light. My head is almost like fuzzy, kinda. I feel stupid trying to explain this, but um, it's a lot of caffeine. I feel really light, you know? I feel really, um, you know, light. You know, normally I feel tired and um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily feel tired. I just feel, um, I feel really awake. You know, I feel really um, alert, um, awake, um, and light, you know. You know, I don't know. Um, I guess I guess I'll uh, check in in a few more minutes when I drink some more, and uh, we'll see where we're at. So um, it is about four o'clock now. Um, I made the coffee at about three, slightly before three. It was like two forty-five ish um, when I made the coffee. I finished drinking it at about two three thirty. Um, it is four o'clock now. Um, so I drank two cups of the Death Wish coffee, and. Um, Right now, I feel um, I feel pretty alert. You know, I don't feel super wired or uh, crazy energetic or anything like that. I just feel um, pretty alert. You know, like if I had to do something that I needed to focus on, I could. And normally, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I feel so I feel alert. I feel focused. Um, I feel kind of warm and fuzzy. And I don't know if that's because of the caffeine or because it's warm outside and I just drink two cups of hot coffee but I also feel I'm um, slightly tingly like just just slightly you know and that's uh, that's about where I'm at right now nothing super huge or extreme I uh, like I couldn't go run a marathon right now but um, I have the energy to uh, do things that I would like to do you know so I mean it's it's a pretty nice balance so far but I'm just waiting for the the, the crash but I wasn't super tired when I drank it so um, I don't know how how hard the, the crash is gonna be this time around but um, yeah that's how I feel right now I drank all the coffee yeah so I drank the coffee you can't see it's all empty I drank it I drank all my coffee just to kind of prove you know yeah, I mean I don't feel a whole lot right now um, I just feel kind of uh, awake. It wasn't super early. I wasn't tired when I drank it, so you know, that could be affecting it. I, I feel less wired than I did after about 10 minutes in. So, um, when I crash, I guess I'll um, come back and uh, see you guys. My head looks shaved weird right now. I apologize. I promise my head's not shaved weird. It's about 7 o'clock, I think. It's about uh, 10 minutes to 7, so it's 6.50. I think it's safe to assume that um, the coffee has worn off. Um, I didn't really crash, you know, like I expected to, and like I did the, the first time I drank it. But the first time I drank it, um, I was driving to a different state. It was, it was like a four hour drive, and we left at like six or seven in the morning. So, I remember I crashed really hard while we were driving, and it was like the worst thing ever. It was like 12 late highway. <laughs> it felt like it. Cause the only reason I wanted to do this and uh, make this video is because I've had this sitting around for for a long time. I don't even know where I put it, but I've had the Death Wish sitting around for a long time. Never really thought about making a video or anything about it. And then um, I saw a dude wears my challenge. Um, they drank it, but they just poured a bunch of grounds and hot water and mixed it and then ate the grounds. <laughs> it was kind of a mess. And um, that's why I wanted to make this video because I was like, well, I mean, I have some of that. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drink some of that. So I did. And uh, yeah, so. Um, I feel none of the caffeine now. I felt it for about 30 minutes and then after that it was kind of like mellow, any other coffee, and it was kind of it. So, um, 
It has a shit ton of caffeine and you feel it for about 30 minutes and then it was kind of gone for me. I mean, maybe I'll try this again when I'm running on like two hours of sleep. On a normal night of sleep, it didn't affect me as much as I wanted to. Yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have anything else you want me to try or any challenges or anything, um, drop them in the comments and I will do them. So um, I'm looking for suggestions. Uh, don't be shy, please. Please don't be shy. I will do pretty much anything. Um, yeah, so um, my head's shaved weird. That's all I have for you in this uh, one. I will see you in the next one. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like and uh, like this video and subscribe if you uh, think I'm funny or uh, whatever.